Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, yes, we are continuing on with our VGC Series 11 content and yes, we do have another rental team to feature here on the channel and this one is a team that I picked up from Twitter, again from at Mythical VGC. Again, their socials are linked down below. Uh, this is a team that they used to win the AST Revolution Tour. So, they won a tour with this team. It is pretty strong and it's got some really nice options to it. And now I know we featured Zashin on the channel before, but the big reason I really wanted to feature this team was obviously it's done very well in a tournament setting. And, uh, you know, Mythical was very kind to share the team, but also because of the Blastoise. Now, we did feature a team with Blastoise at the start of the week, but we didn't really get to see too much of it. Now, hopefully we can get to see a bit more of this one today. It has got Yawn. Uh, it's not the Shell, Shell Smash variant, but I do feel like it's got that support of Roll and Offensive Roll all kind of combined into one, which I do kind of prefer in Blastoise in general. Obviously not going with a fake out here, but you've got double fake out on the team anyway. Um, and then we've got nice options elsewhere with the Landorus with that uh, life orb, which is really, really scary, um, especially with the kind of the support that you've got there. Uh, with the double fake out and again with the eerie impulse prankster thunderous which supports that pretty much everything on the team super well including that zashin so there is a rental code we'll have a couple of games with the team now as we always do and then we'll wrap up with the rental at the end of the episode friends so sit back hope you enjoyed today's episode hope you enjoyed today's team and without further ado let's get into game one first we've got a reggie steel lander Grim grimsnarl tapu finny incineral and Evil So, um, similar concept to what we played on the channel last week. We've got to watch out. The Zashian's going to be really good in this match. It helps us against the Evil uh, to no end. Against most things on the team, the big threats on the team for Zashian are going to be the Landorus particularly. And uh, the Incineroar to a certain extent. We can't let the Tapafini get the uh, Combined up. And we need to be able to check that Registeel at all points if possible. So something like Thunderous could be quite useful here with the taunt i mean we could lead blastoise go zashin and then landorus is very tempting here because we can sword stance uh and then yeah i think we'll go landorus yes i think we'll go landorus because i feel like there's going to be end game situations where we might be able to get a sword stance up and then clear the field uh, and with good support options around us like the thunderous if we can preserve it well enough of course uh, it might be might be capable of doing something like that so uh, i'd rather go on a more offensive kind of route in this one than go on a more defensive one if that makes a little bit more sense so grimsnarl reggie steel has the grimsnarl got fake out i doubt it i doubt it uh but we do have yawn as well so we can yawn things which is always uh, a nice thing to be able to do but we have to taunt the reggie steel unfortunately i think we probably go for your uh we could max Start the residual damage chip, which is always a good option. Um, so they're probably going to light screen, aren't they? Probably better off yawning to begin with, I think. Just to just slow things down. We get the torn off into Registeel, so it's not going to be able to amnesia or body press. Well, it can body press it, but once it's not going to be able to uh, iron defense stuff. So that's a big thing for us. And we can yawn. And we can kind of pressure that Grimmsnarl slot the next turn by yawning into it again because I think anything that comes in um, is going to be subjected to that. Another light screen's up. We could potentially um, switch into Landorus here with Thunderous actually and go for a. Yeah, I think that's not a bad play. We go into that and I think we yawn again into Grimmsnarl just to cover a switch. And then we've got a potential where we could go for a Sword Stance max and then nuke that that uh reggie steel which might be a nice option but this is where blastoise comes into its own you know with it's, it's support and you with that yawn great pokemon great pokemon put so much pressure on the board if grimstone stays in here that's fine that literally fine if it wants to get a reflect up in stain goes to sleep this turn do not care reggie steel is not really going to be able to do much other than body press at the minute and it can do some significant damage to something like Blastoise, but we, I'm not likely going to see body press into something like um, into Landorus here, into the, the Thunderous. Let's see, we just want to chip down that slot, maybe. We get the Yawn into that Cineral. So, yeah, it's either got the option to go fake out this next turn or. Yeah, there's a body press there. 
And I mean, we can just yawn into the um, Registeel here and we can just go for that Sword Stance. Uh, we could Hydro Pump as well into Incineroar, but I think it's better if we go for Yawn. We can just really disrupt and set up, and this is the the nice thing about these sort of teams, you know. Yep, forcing the Incineroar out here. Landorus coming in, getting that Intimidate onto the field, which is fine. We can Yawn that Registeel, kind of force that out the next turn. Um, we still got the option to max Blastoise as well if we want. Get the Sword Stance up. We're probably going to take another body press here. Well, we definitely are. But we get the yawn into that Registeel. So when that taunt wears off, potentially this turn, they've got some options. They, they've got to think about what they want to do. Body press going to do good damage again. Puts Blastoise in a little bit of an awkward position. But like I say, with that taunt there. What are we? Are we minus? We just neutral. We kind of want to get another sword stance up really here. Um... Maybe we want to get Thunderous in or... It's so what they're going to do, bring Incineroar in, I think. Yeah, I think we leave Zashin in the back to later. I think I want to preserve Blastoise as well. Because <coughs> that Yawn could come in quite handy against something like... Um, Registeel later on in this match. Just to give us that little bit of room that we might need. If it comes in, we haven't got torn out and it can start to get amnesias, uh, iron defenses up, etc. You know. But it's forced out. Yep. It's, it's Grimstone. Okay. What are we going to see the Landorus do? Is it going to go for a, um, a sword stance as well, potentially? No, it is Maxim. Where's it gone? Max Airstream. Let's hope not. Let's hope it goes Max quick into the Blastoise. That would be what we want to see, but it's more likely going to go Airstream, I think. Hopefully not into our Landorus, because that makes it very difficult. Because we lost a lot of kind of momentum about what we can... Um... Max Rock for. Okay. Uh, I'll take that. We do get that. Okay. So, mm. the plus two, well, plus one, because they're going to switch Grimmsnarl out to Incineroar this next turn, I think, to try and mitigate. I think we go Max Airstream, and we go for a scary face into Landorus as well. Just to ensure that we get this attack off. Um, and then it means when Blastoise comes back in. Blastoise will be able to outspeed the Landorus. But we lost pretty much all our, our main way to deal with that Registeel. If we lose our Landorus here. Which is not good. Because that's kind of losing sight of that a little bit. So what we really need to be doing here. Is picking up the knockout onto the Landorus. Um, now we do have the Life Orb. So Life Orb plus one. Max Airstream might actually be enough to get the opposing land rest. I'm hoping that it is. I'm hoping that it is. Because if we do, I think the game becomes a lot easier for us to manage. Scary face. So minus two. Let's see Airstream. We've got to go with this because it's stab. Oh, it's so close. Now they're going to take down our land rest, which is not good. Uh, like I said, Blastoise can come in. Max Rockfall. Go after Thunderous, please. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, they went after Thunderous. That is what we like to see. That is what we really like to see. Um, that's huge for us. I think they probably thought that uh, we're going to protect Landorus here, you know, maybe. Um, now we can get Zashin in. Um. Yes, we can get Zashin in. Get rid of the uh, the Landorus. I forget that we got Zashin as well, so we do have a way to uh, deal with Registeel. Um. So I'm just gonna just double check, double check speeds on their side of the field. And they're minus two. They're minus two, anyways. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, although they 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 do have fake out, so we need to go. Um, we need to go for this here, and then we need to go for Sacred Sword into Incineroar. 
which should pick up the knockout if it's not like it depends how it's EV'd of course as well <sighs> and I'm just withdrawing what's coming in Grim Snow Grimmy I think we see oh it's Registeel so nice switch nice switch any damage onto Registeel's nice damage though fake out into Zashin which is fine an airstream and again so they can cycle these intimidates that's what they're going to want to do that's going to that's what they want to be able to do catch us this next turn with um it's hard where do we go where do we go do we go max airstream again i think we go max airstream into the incineral slot and probably sacred sword into the reggie steel because i think landorus is going to come in here uh, they probably protect Registeel anyway, I think. It's too risky going for Max Quick. I think we just got Airstream into Incineroar and Sacred Sword into Steel. Because I think Landorus comes in on the Incineroar slot. They probably protect Registeel here. Yeah. But if it means getting rid... Oh, it's Grimmsnarl. That's interesting. I thought Ed Landorus would have come in here. Maybe they want to get the... Okay, Landorus is coming in, but uh, we'll be able to remove that with the Sacred Sword here. So that's not too bad. The problem is now... Is that they're going to be able to get an Iron Defense up with that Registeel when they come back in with the... With the Fake Out support from uh, Incineroar this next turn. Although, although, if we don't take down this Grimstone here, then... It's going to be difficult for my opponent to actually get that playoff, which we don't we miss. We miss that. So they haven't got active fake out going into this next turn. So if the Registeel does come in, they're not going to have a kind of a free reign where we could potentially just protect protect Sashi in an earthquake, which could be the play. Could be the play. That's insane. Okay. So they got the fake out. They got the fake out. We need to get Sashi off the field. I think. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, what can we do? Mm. Are we plus, mm, oh, minus one, minus one, no, that's quick, not going to be enough. Rock slide, the sacred sword, or oh, minus, are we minus one with Zashin as well? Yeah, minus one. Looks like Sacred Sword might be enough, but I think hmm, we need to pull it. We need to pull a, a double switch, really. We could Sword Stance as well. It's kind of risky, though. I think we Rock Slide. I think we get Zash in off the field. I think we get Blastoise back out. Because the Blastoise is quite important to us. You've got to think like that. Yawn is going to be so important. It's just whether or not we can take down the um, the Grim Snarl here with a Rock Slide. If the fake head comes out, yeah. We do survive it and reflect coming out. Okay, that's not too bad, to be honest. But I think the big thing that we want to be able to do here is just rock slide and... Yeah, so we rock slide and uh, hydro pump. They're going to get the light screen up again, but that's kind of not too bad. And a hydro pump behind a reflect. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? I don't know. I don't know. But there is a chance that we can flinch. Here with a rock slide, so there's always that possibility. Rock slide should get the grim snarl, and then when it's three on one, we can just yawn the Reggie Steel, not worry about what it's set up, and just try and barrage it with attacks. Okay, so instead we're going to switch out. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense because you get that switch back in. Oh, scary face! That's all right. That's better than a light screen. That is better than a light screen. There's a rock slide. Okay. So we get rid of Grimmsnarl. It does open the door up for Incineroar to come back in. Uh, but we are going to be able to get Hydro Pump off. Lander is actually fainting, which is not ideal because of a life orb. Hydro Cannon. So we are going to recharge this next turn, which kind of... Oh! Oh, come on. I mean, Sacred Sword's going to be able to pick it up now, I think, regardless. So... 
<clears throat> we have to protect Ash in all this next turn because I think, well, do we do we have to protect it? Because they're going to fake out and body press, which I don't think is going to be enough to get Zash in. It's just the, the, the fact of the matter if they protect Reggie Steel and then go Flare Blitz into Zash in. I don't like the idea of that too much. So I think a Hydro Cannon gets the Incineroar now. Now that Light Screen isn't a thing, I think it would have been a, a more beneficial play for them to Light Screen. Following him, we'll just protect here. We can't do anything with Blastoise. We've got to recharge after that massive cannon. Cannon is cannon, hydro cannon, whatever we call it these days. Um, from the Blastoise. The big problem here would be if they body press the toys. They body press the toys. That would be bad, wouldn't it? To sit and duck, but they are. They're more inclined to protect here, just in case we don't. And yeah, they go for that fair blitz. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Now we just wrap the game up. So I think there really what they had to do was um, fake out Zash and go body press into Blastoise, which would have taken us down. Uh, and that would have wrapped the game up for them. Fortunately, that is not what has happened. As we can just Sacred Sword and then Hydro Cannon into the Incineroar. Like I say, that would be enough to pick up the knockout onto the NC. Uh, Reggie's still going for the double protect, but it does fail. Unfortunately, the Sacred Sword is going to be enough to pick up the knockout there. And the Hydro Cannon going to be enough to get. See how much the Blastoise, how I wanted to feature Blastoise today. And like the Blastoise has actually been probably the best member of the team, to be honest. Like it's very close between that and Landorus. Landorus is always very good though. But Blastoise has been phenomenal in this game. That early game um, position where we were just able to kind of really disrupt what my opponent was able to do. And um, I think the turn where they, they targeted Thunderous rather than Landorus made it a bit easier for us to close it up but very good game to my opponent regardless a great one for us to start with today and we'll jump into game two friends and next up today we have a zashian thunderous landorus porygon 2 urshifu and incinero team so pretty standard looking kind of zashian team uh you've got the support options there with the thunderous it's going to be probably prankster with um a scary face or thunder wave um eerie impulse taunt and then the landorus there likely going to have a uh, sword stance as a way to kind of boost its stats maybe Life Orb, so got to watch out for that. Maybe Lumberry. Uh, then you've got a Trick Room Switch to kind of dictate play from your opponent's side of the field. They're going to be able to utilize the Trick Room to kind of get around any sort of speed control from our side of the field with Airstreams or anything like that. Uh, then you've got the Urshifu and the Incineroar. So it's pretty similar teams all in all, but it's about like making the most of our side of the field. We're going to need Intimidate for the Zashian for sure. Um, you've got to worry about potentially that Thunderous being defined as well, because if it is, uh, things get pretty difficult very quickly i think what we'll do is leave rilla zashian let's go incineral and landorus okay let's go for that and lock in before we run out of time because obviously time ticking down and sometimes take a little bit longer to talk through team preview but it's, it's always good to try and take as much time as you want but don't leave yourself uh struggling for time and locking things in very quickly like i've just done there it's not the best way to approach a matchup especially if it's a, a live event which will be coming back soon we are going to see uh landorus and thunderous that combination that's been around for years um so yeah Renaboom not in the best of positions here because we are threatened by the max uh airstream intimidate gonna come out not helpful against our opposing Zashin. Um, and we still don't know whether it is defined Thunderous or not. And we could sub here with Zashin if we want. It kind of helps us get around potential. Because I think they Airstream regardless, whatever they do. They max Landorus and Airstream. I think they don't go for anything else. So we could potentially do that. Uh, we could sub or protect. In case they go for Max Quake. Like, sub's probably a better option. The only issue with doing that is, do they go for Taunt? Um, whereas, we could just switch straight into Landorus here as well and get minus two, which will probably help out the Incineroar take a potential Max uh, Airstream. The only issue is, like I say, if it is Defiant Thunderous, then we are in deep, deep trouble. We probably lose this match if they are because we're given these boosts to this thunderous and that is not what we want to do please don't be defined on this kind of makeup a team yeah it's not defined that's good Whew. yeah on this sort of makeup a team you can't really ever say like you would say that it's probably more support thunderous but at the same time you can't ever 
like really just 100% say that it's always going to be um, it's always going to be prankster. So the opposing lander is now on minus two. Like I say, we're probably going to see a max airstream come out from it um, into that really boom spot, which is now the incineral, which we should be able to take. Uh, we'll have to contend with scary face as well, but we need to preserve our intimidators because the, the big problem that we've got is um, ooh swagger. No, <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want to have to contend with that. The old swagger combination. It's got the lumberry there. That that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. We might have to be forced to stay in with Landorus this next uh, with Incineroar this next turn just to get the fake out to stop that swagger onto um, onto the Landorus. To be honest. Because it's already got the airstream. Um, we could fake out. I think what, one option we could do is fake out into Thunderous and then max ourselves and max Rockfall and hope that minus two Incineral takes. can take a, um, a max Quake. Or they may be inclined to go airstream again, thinking that Incineral probably going to switch out to um, Rillaboom. But then again, they may not as well. They may want to just say, right, if you're going to stay in and you're going to fake out my Thunderous and I'm going to lose it, I'm going to get a return on it. I'm going to Max Quake into that slot to cover that option from you. So it's always going to be something that you think about going into um, into these sort of turns. But I think that Swagger is very scary. So I want to remove that straight away if I can. So there's a fake out into the Thunderous and uh, Max Rockfall will be enough. As it does go for that, yeah, they're going for the airstream, which we'll be able to take again. So that gives us a little bit of room, especially into the Landorus as well. It gives it a bit more room for um, Incineroar to get out this next turn after we get this max uh, rockfall into the Thunderous. Uh, because you can imagine the next Pokemon to come onto the field will be that Zashin. Um, and it's going to be able to pressure us pretty hard, especially because we don't have an active Intimidate in the back anymore. Uh, with both our Intimidators out on the field, it makes so much sense for the Zashin just to hit the field now. And that's kind of scary for us because we probably want to bring in. Hmm, it's like we have to sacrifice something almost. Like we probably have to sacrifice Rillaboom because I don't want to bring in Zashin on the Incineroar slot because it's so easy for my opponent then to just click. Okay, it's Incineroar. That makes things way easier for us to, to manage. Like 100%, like more manageable. Because now we've got that easier switch into Rillaboom here where we're not worrying too much. Although the Airstream is still pretty threatening. I'm not as concerned about it because we can just go for the Max Quake here. And they don't have a switch. Like, if they've got the Zashin in the back, they don't have a switch to the Incineroar now. Now, we are minus one, but we do have the Life Orb, so maybe there is a chance that we are able to pick up the Knockout. But the thing, I think the most important thing for us now is knowing that we've got Incineroar in the back. There's not really much chance of our own lander us getting picked up here. It's not going to get knocked out. Not one little bit, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Get the Fake Out into our Incineroar. Here, prevent any sort of parting shot damage and a max rock ball coming out and it will be into Landorus I'd imagine. No, into the Rillaboo. It's interesting. There's our last choice as we get this max quake um, into Incineroar. How much damage we do? Yeah, we do pick up the knockout which is really useful. And now the max turns are gone from my opponent. Um, we got one more max turn I think. Because I think the thing that we can really think about doing now is just go max max quick into uh, the Zashin and switching Rillaboom to Incineroar because um, our grassy terrain is going to run out very shortly so it might be useful for us to kind of keep that intact let's see Zash coming out okay it is a shiny square shiny Zashin looks so nice doesn't it square shiny okay so Lander is done Done, done, done. It's not really causing us too many threat problems either now because I think the big problems that we had, I mean, we got fake out as well, so we can fake out into the Zashin. It's more likely going to protect here, you know? Um, Yeah, we could, I think what we could do is probably fake out into Zashin. We could, I think the opposing lander is probably goes rock slide or, and like I am worried about it potentially going for a fly. I'm just going to max quake here because Yeah, they're just protecting. They have to protect here. It makes more sense to do that. Like, we could have protected into the Landorus, but... Yeah, they go fly, so that's not really too much of an issue. And we just go for that Max Quick into the Zashin. 
just to get that damage off really that's what it's all about you know just getting that additional damage off really and we can pull a double switch this next turn if we want get the, the initial intimidate onto the Zashin and get our own Zashin onto the field um, it's just it might be better getting Zashin onto the field like you've got to think they're probably going to go fly into the Rillaboom that's where they're going to fly so the Zashin from our end could come into that slot it's just we don't want to switch in on it on a behemoth blade that's kind of the thing that we want to try and avoid i guess so i think we i think we pull the double switch here to be honest yeah no and then incineroar here because a behemoth blade's more likely to come out onto our landorus right and the fly into the rillaboom unless they double in on the um the Rillaboom slot with a fly and and a behemoth blade just to make sure that they get rid of the Rillaboom here but the Rillaboom is not really the big threat when you look at the the, the, the board situation like Alandrus is causing more of a problem than the Rillaboom which is not really threatening anything right now and with an impending fly coming down you think yeah although that can kind of force us to readjust our board position which can make us vulnerable which may in in turn make them go for Behemoth Blade, but no, they go for the Sacred Sword, predicting that switch. So that's a nice, that's a nice play for my opponent. But thing is, we've got our Zashin in, and we've got the attack boost, and their Landorus is in a, a really awful spot at the minute because they have, well, they they have to go for a fly now. They have to go for a fly. So I think what we can do is we can fake out. What's happening, game? Come on, come on, game. Let's, let's come on, switch. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, and it's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. That is really frustrating. Well, good game to our opponent. I think we would have been able to kind of close it up at that point because I think the, the Zashian, we've got Intimidate Cycling. We go after the, the, the Zashian there. We fake out into the Zashian, go after it. Uh, and then the Landorus has to fly that turn to avoid getting hit by the Zashian if we fake out their Zashian. So I think we would have got it. Just a bit unfortunate that the Switch is literally the worst connection, Wi-Fi, anything that I've, I've known console-wise. But that's kind of tends to be Nintendo, doesn't it? Um, so what we're going to do is wrap up with the rental code now, friends. All right, friends, here is today's rental code. I hope if you do try it out, you enjoy it. And once again, a massive big shout out to Mythical VGC and uh, make sure to check out their socials, which are linked down below in the description. Team's great. It's a solid Zashin team. It's as solid as they come. They've got some really nice options in there with uh, the Blastoise and the Thunderous. And we pretty much got to see most things on the team today. Shame about that last game and the connectivity with the Switch, but that happens sometimes, doesn't it? You can't really help that. Um, I mean, I've got everything else connected here. I've got the bot running in the background, connected. I've got my laptop here running and uh, my computer seems to be online. So everything seems to be running except the Switch, which is, it always seems to be the case. Anyway, getting around that. We are wrapping up there, friends. If you've got a rental team that you'd like to see played uh, on the channel, do submit it down below. You can hook me up on Discord or you can drop a message down with the rental in the, the, the comment section below, friends. And I'll try and feature it as soon as I can on the channel because we've got a few weeks where we're going to be featuring rental teams because I am keeping those sample teams up for four weeks, like I said, uh, from putting them up last week. So we've got a, a bit of room to play with some rental teams going forward before, obviously, Brilliant Diamond Channel and Pearl are dropping very soon as well. So we're going to be moving across to that for a little while. But we'll still dip in and out of VG around that uh, when it does drop. But uh, have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will see you all very soon for another episode on the channel. So until then, take care and bye-bye.